Okay, I took this out of order because somehow when I built the thing I went down to Paducah, Kentucky and I went there because this is the Illinois Tennessee Arkansas corner where the Mississippi River bends and right in here is New Madrid so this is where the Ohio River comes in this is where the Missouri comes in and actually in Milwaukee is the subcontinental divide where our water actually drains out through Niagara Falls but at this not far below us most of the water ends up in the Mississippi so the hot entire Ohio Tennessee Valley empties into the Mississippi Mississippi right here and this is where all the stress on the fault is being placed with all this incredibly heavy rain they're hitting the headwaters of the Mississippi, the Missouri, the Wabash, the Tennessee, the Ohio. And so when I did my study, I was coming across the top of the country and then down to get to this spot. And then I really tried to chase it up the Ohio but I find it, found it more exciting chasing it through the Great Lakes, so. But that's only because that's where it was exciting at the time. It's very dynamic. Uh, the interstation communications that I believe I observed is 5% of what it was, although other areas are probably far more dynamic. And when we get into the state-by-state -state detail, which is another 50 movies, um, with reflectivity and velocity, so maybe that's a hundred more movies if I did them all. Um, what I'm going to try to do with this batch is run it through a batch processor to make these smaller for YouTube and um, see if I can do it in more of an objectified manner. Although it sort of means taking my beautiful bulldog out of the mech um, out of the beginning for my beloved logo. Paducah, Kentucky. I'm sure there's moonshiners down there. I once bought corn liquor guaranteed to be less than 90 days old from Paducah. 